Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, another tanks video bringing it to you today. Um, I haven't played much tanks, honestly this is an old, well it's two replays guys for me today. Um, we're in the A43 and we're about to realise that everyone is this side of the map and nothing is down the south as you can see on the mini map. And we don't really want to um, fight their heavy tanks, to be honest. But now their A43 is lit on the other side of the map. So we're a bit concerned now. But it is odd that their heavies like, haven't drove into town as well. There we go, the drive by. This is quite a quick tank anyway, but we're just speeding this up to save time for the sake of it. Um, the plan is is to uh, get into that dip. It's straight in front of me at the moment. And I was hoping um, tank destroyers would stay on that ridge behind me, on the E123 squares, and I could spot if we let them cap, if that makes sense. So ideally, like, I want them to come at me. Um, and this is like one of the best positions on the map, I think, this little dip when you're defending. Because it stops, it stops them from capping. But I don't know why the T-49 in J-4 has decided to like yellow his shit in into three other enemy tanks. He's got no support from there. I'm trying to help him out but he's haven't got a decent shot. So I drove here because I thought, oh it's gonna be a fast cap. And that's what they're gonna do with three tanks, but evidently not. But what you'll see in a minute is the other tank destroyers pushing forward for no apparent reason. So like we've got a 4 on 3 but the SU-100 is slowly creeping forward. It's it's like why bro? Why? Why, why are you doing it? What makes you think that is a good idea? because they're baiting you in, they want you to come forward and they're just trying to fuck around you. There's three of them. You might hit one of them, but you're not going to kill the other two. It's like, we've got this. All we have to, all we have to do is just chill. Wait, see if they try and cap. Oh, did we hit the say 43 or oh, we miss? See, now the SU-100 is about to get deleted because he's went onto the side where he's got no shots from. And now I'm thinking of trying to help him, but I think that ship's now sailed. This is turning into the Titanic of games right now. You never know. We might turn it around. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Now we're looking for a light, and we miss. Oh, so bad! I'm not sure if I was streaming. Cause if I'm streaming and playing this game, I blame that on the lag that I get, which is about a ping of 150 in this game. So now it's a three on four. Our KV one's just got deleted. Now it's a three on two. I haven't got a clue what the church was at, like how flies. So now I'm just hoping they come at us. <coughs> I 
and I'm just looking for like trees that are falling down um, anything getting crushed on the right hand side any buildings that sort of thing but the players that were left were quite decent but you know they were all above 52% and, you know they're better stats than me at the end of the day in like 20,000 games that A40, their A43 did this was an XVM 38%er but this is the power man of this fucking dip, it's so fucking OP but if those tank destroyers just stayed on that hill instead of YOLOing in, we could have probably just won the game easier yeah now the A43 player is behind us which is bad because there's also a tank something else behind us, there's a marder behind us and we don't know what way the church was going. So now I think I'm going to get attacked from all sides. Which is going to be an issue. So yeah, there's the Marder just lit himself up now. This is one of those games that like I love and while well, I used to love playing because like they're so intense. But it's one of those ones as well where it's like if I did this, this and this better, I might have been able to carry the game. But I'll go into that when um, you guys see it. But yeah, we really need to take this guy out so fucking badly. So now we've got a chance. We've got a two on two. And uh, now it's me against two. It's like why is, was he was he face? I don't know if he was facing the A forty three or not, but he should have been. If I'm looking at the murder, it's pretty obvious. You know what I mean? This was pointing a gun at you one way. You don't look the other way. Now I'm paranoid to where the Churchill is. Was used last spotted back at their base. So what's gonna happen, guys? And this is like the pressure of winning now, pulling a 38% uh, out of my ass. But what you're gonna see, guys, is a guy who's with like 20,000 games, and you to constantly show me why he's that good. He just abuses the map like really well. And I do some stupid shit in a minute. Man, I really need shade. Just trying to find out where the church is as well. So we're just, I'm just paranoid, man. I would just go at him, this guy, because I've got a better chance of going at him than like, and like, um, doing this this sort of duel. Because he's probably better at me than doing this than I, you know. And if I just yell myself in, there's more luck to it, which. He starts just abusing that ridge line now, and it just fucks me up because I sit still, and it's the worst thing I could have done because he knows where I am, he's pre aimed it up every time. But this sitting still thing really was a bad idea. Now the church all gets lit, and we are loving it's coming over the ridge line. Now he gets deleted. Now it is a 1v1. And like, I just play so bad at this bit because I'm going up on my side. He can see a lot more of my tank than what I can see of his. It's just like, like if I zoom out, do it this way. 
Uh, you can see a lot more with my tank. But yeah, that's how you nearly carry a game, guys. Okay, guys, it's another game on Live Oak, same tank, A43. Um, in this one, we do spawn from the other side. I'm um, not rocking the camera this time. But yeah, we play quite aggressively. Get up here, get some spots, wait for the team's backs up. Do it quickly. Just, so, looking at their team, they've got a couple of tank destroyers, so I expect them to be on E123. So, what we're going to do now is try and light them. So, this is what the guys were trying to do, like the better players were trying to do in the other video, but it's from the other perspective almost. Um, so, what I'm trying to do is get in the position that I was in the last video for most of the replay. And then I can light their tank destroyers because that spot is OP. So I'm driving down alongside the red line, hopefully, I don't get spotted. Not spotted. No, we're not spotted. And like, no one's bothered reacting, and I can take this, take this position down here. And now it's like GG. I did not expect to see a GW Panther down here though. <laughs> now all we got to do is keep rocking up and down on the ridge line. That's like, no one's reacted. So I'll push on the other side of the map. Now it is bad times. And this guy's got some balls, but in that tank, man, you should not be doing that shit. But to be fair, he nearly killed me with that one shot. Yeah, now the other team's starting to react. You can see the IS2 coming towards me. Yeah, that's the power of this position, man. It's awesome. It either denies the cap or makes capping so much easier. This position is pretty sick. It is tanks alright too. I like the speed more than anything else of this tank. Guns nothing to get crazy about, but it's pretty decent all round tank for its tier. It's quite high though. But yeah, the, the whole team now is coming towards the cap, and I don't know why the replay um, stopped there, I can edit some shit out of that video, but basically, um, that replay stopped because we capped won the game, and I was a scrub and not looking at that bit of the screen. So guys, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you again next time. Maybe, maybe thanks, maybe not.